Welcome to the MicroStation 3D Level 3 course using the V8i version. As you know, Bentley's MicroStation is a powerful CAD program used by architects and engineers when accurate drawings are needed. MicroStation helps teams improve the way they design, model, visualize, document, and map projects of all shapes and sizes. In this course, you'll be learning about MicroStation's 3D tools and drawing techniques. To get the most from this course, I strongly, strongly suggest that you draw for yourself all of the examples and exercises in the videos. There is no substitute for practice. Now clearly, it's not possible to include every feature, tool, or option the software provides. MicroStation's 3D capabilities are simply too large and complex for that to be feasible. You will, however, find that all major and significant tools and techniques are covered, along with a wide range of hints and tips to increase your productivity. As with the Level 1 and Level 2 courses, you can work in either customary English or metric dimensions. There is a working files folder on the DVD that contains information and drawing setups that will add to the information in the videos. I will point you to the correct file as the instruction proceeds. I assume that you've successfully completed the Level 1 and Level 2 courses, or equivalent, and are comfortable with the tools, concepts, and operations contained in those courses. In particular, I assume that you understand and use Accudraw with ease. Please note that I will not provide detailed instruction or prompt you in the use of tools already covered in Levels 1 and 2, except where specific emphasis is required. One slight complication is that Bentley Systems Inc., the company behind MicroStation, issues updates and additions to its products through its Select Services program, from which members can download the latest improvements. If you or your company has access to Select Services, you may see additional tools in your software not covered in the videos. With regard to those updates and additions, as you work through the videos, you may occasionally see what seems to be different interfaces for the visual display of the MicroStation screen. This is so because both I and Infinite Skills update the videos regularly to remain current with updates in the MicroStation software. Bentley has a policy of incremental updates on a frequent basis rather than a single wholesale change to the software as other CAD companies do. Any different looking interfaces are the result of me changing the look of my Windows interface over time as I update the videos. You may see different colors in the various MicroStation information boxes. This has no effect on the actual MicroStation program. This is actually a good thing. It means that we are making sure you have the most up-to-date information possible. As for the contents of the course, you can see the list of individual videos and their subjects on this DVD, so there's no need for me to list them all. However, I'm going to show you some of the more important subjects that will be covered, starting with what you will be able to achieve by the end of the course. The images you see here are renderings of objects and interior and exterior scenes. All are photorealistically rendered with MicroStation's powerful Luxology rendering facility. These designs may look complex now, but you will steadily increase your skills as you work through the course. And those skills are applicable to all professional design fields. Now naturally, you need to begin with the basic tools. And we do that starting with an understanding of the three-dimensional design cube in which you draw, and very importantly, how AccuDraw functions in three dimensions. As you can see, AccuDraw is capable now of functioning in three dimensions too. And simply switching the compass orientation allows you to draw in three dimensions. We can then move on to what are called primitive solids. And I'm going to open a toolbox here. And these are the building blocks of more complex solid objects. For example, here we have a slab solid. Very simple to draw. Put the base in, put the height in, and we have a solid. Here is a sphere. Same basic idea. And we're working in shaded views, as you see here, or in wireframe views. And naturally, we'll be working with the solids editing tools. And we see three sets of editing tools on this toolbox. And here is an example of one of the editing tools. We have a couple of profiles here. I'm going to extrude that one. So here is an extrusion of that same profile. 
So things can be quite different depending on the tool that you're using. To make life easier for you and to save time, I will give you this drawing to use and practice the editing tools with. Next come the equally important surface tools. And I'm going to open another set of toolboxes here. And we see primitive surfaces very similar to the solid primitives that we just saw. To speed things along again, you'll find this drawing in your working files folder, and we use that to practice the surface editing tools. You need to know how to present your designs to clients, engineers, or architects. So we'll take a look at several design presentation methods. And here is the initial presentation method that you'll learn which makes use of the reference and model tools you used in the level two course. Here we see reference files, here and here, along with the initial model drawings and the reference file here too. We will advance to the more complex hypermodel concept, which is available from the MicroStation SS3 version and later. At this point in the course, you're ready to build more sophisticated models, but we must first look at using a virtual camera to set up perspective views and how to place 3D lights in a scene to illuminate your designs. Here you see one of the exercises you will complete in this regard. This is a final rendering, so you don't actually see the lights in this mode. And then it's on to attaching materials to objects to give them a real world look when you render them with Luxology. Here we see a table, bowl and lamp assembly, which you will be working with as an exercise. MicroStation has a wide range of existing materials that you can use, or you can develop materials from scratch to suit specific conditions. And specifically here we see that Redwood Exotic is attached to the table, the shade material attached to the shade, the green marble attached to the bowl, and the gold metal reflective attached to what appears to be a yellow light stand. This is not a rendered drawing, this is simply the base drawing. When it's rendered, you'll see the materials much clearer and in perspective. As you head towards the end of the course, you develop and render the higher end objects and building models you saw at the beginning of this introduction. Keep in mind that I'm using a few building models as a universal subject familiar to everyone to demonstrate the techniques which are applicable to almost every design field. By the end of the course, you'll have all these and many more essential tools and techniques at your disposal to confidently work in your chosen design field. And, of course, I hope you also have as much fun as I do working in three dimensions.